Hey guys, <clears throat> it's afternoon up in Mount Charleston. This is Stephen Howard. My dog Yucca and Rio are out roaming, pouncing on lizards and bushes, and hopefully not finding the rattlesnake up here. I worry about them a lot out here in the mountains. There are timber rattlers up here and other rattlesnakes up here. We are on the forefront of desert where it cools off and then turns into mountains. Um, so I worry about that. Um, it's late afternoon, about six o'clock. I'm getting ready to put a steak on, have a nice steak dinner by myself. And uh, I have tomorrow off, so I'm probably gonna do some climbing videos or something, do some hiking. Uh, stay in stay in shape stay going for it. It was really hot down in the desert today uh, I was moving it was 104 burnt my leg on the trailer and um, We had a really hard move um, You know, it's hard to put 26 feet worth of stuff into a 16-foot truck So um, I had a psychic download this morning that we didn't have enough space and that's exactly what we had. We had a client that got a smaller truck and it was a problem. It was stressful for all of us. We were trying to figure out how we were gonna make everything fit. And luckily we hit our objective pretty high. We, we got everything in the truck and we also got a trailer behind one of the vehicles and it all worked out. So, um, <clears throat> I had a little uh, a little cackle, you know. I was my cackles were up because it was hot. Uh, I was at kind of my wits end physically, um, even though it was a small move. It was a demanding move, and uh, so I I had done a lot of lifting during that move. And um, you know, I'm just back at it from a couple of days off, so it was kind of a hard start. But uh, my cackles went up, and um, you know, my boss is always my best friend. You know, the, the people that I work for, it's really important that I love them. Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't work for them. So, um, you know, something was said and I took offense. And, um, you know, I, I put up a boundary. I basically said, you know, don't talk to me or down to me or don't say things that hurt me in front of people and really don't don't say those things at, at all to me because I've been through hell uh, if you know my story and you know what I've been through and you know all of the things that I've lost then you would be okay with you know pretty much the way I operate I'm showing up on time I'm showing up clean cut ready to go and I'm showing up doing a, a proper job and taking care of customers and customer service. So, you know, I kind of said, you know, take it or leave it. If you talk to me like that, I'll, uh, I'll leave. You'll always be my friend, but you won't always be my boss. And, um, you know, I don't want to offend Brandon or his family. I love you guys. Um, you know... We made climbing videos together. I, I don't include people on my channel unless I absolutely love them. So, um, you know, it was hot. It's the first hot day. We're moving. We're doing a frustrating move. Then something said towards the end. And, you know, it, it just kind of went the way it went. Water under a bridge. Sometimes you need to build a bridge of communication let the water flow under it so it doesn't erode the land and you can still get your package across there. So, um, hence I'll be at work, uh, day after tomorrow and we have a full, full schedule coming up and I'm still awaiting some news and some other things. So I'm really under a lot of pressure myself and, uh, I'm just hoping everything flows and goes you know, uh, having faith and having conviction and, and just being patient and, you know, being tempered and patient and just grounded and just wait your, your turn. Every dog eventually gets their day. 
the things that you're focusing on are so enormous that it takes the universe light speed, but they're getting all the work done behind the scenes. And the thing that you're absolutely dreaming about is about to happen. And it's about to happen in such a big way that it will alter your life forever and your family's life and your legacy and everything. So, you know, co competition, there is none, you know, a better employee, there isn't one, you know, you, 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 in this time, in this time that we're in, in society, it's hard to find good employees. It's hard to find people that show up that are stoked, ready to go, that are always positive and always giving you, you know, the goods. Uh, which is getting the work done and doing it properly. And then I make mistakes. I hit a wall today. I put a hole in a wall. I broke a pot the other day. So I need to be more careful. But, um, you know, I do work hard and um, it's a job. You know, everybody's got to eat. They got to put gas in the car. Got to take care of themselves. But the bottom line is I'm a light worker. I do work in people's lives, and, the, and that's priceless. The work that I do on this channel and the stuff that I do for people, showing different things for them in their lives, and then they go for it, you know, that's priceless. That's, that's more than a job. That's an adventure. So... I hope you guys understand what I'm saying, and, um, you know... I take full ownership for my own crap, you know, where I come off short or where my shortcomings or where I have a, you know, a temper. I've been, I've been tempered, but, you know, I still have issues that I got to deal with and I still got things I got to deal with. And we're in Mercury retrograde, so I think we did a great job for that being said. Divine guided messages are be patient with yourself, be patient with others, focus on your dreams. You know, you got to do your daily bread, you got to do your job, but at the end of the day, you can still focus on your dreams and getting things executed and in the right form and style. So um, I can't wait for breaking the chain. I know this next year, 2022. Is going to be an amazing year. It's 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Everything's going to line up. You guys are going to see me on the dirt bike again. You guys are going to see me doing some crazy, crazy stuff. And I just can't wait. I can't wait for the changes. I can't wait for the things that are coming. And I can't wait for all of it. I can't wait for all of it. Uh, the universe is about to just pour on you. Something you have never, ever even imagined in your life. And it's because you put in the work, you put in the time. Uh, you took the time uh, to really show what you're made of. And, it, you know, if I've always said it. If nobody's watching, does it still matter? You know, it's Tony Hawk saying, you know, if he did a 900 on a ramp when nobody was around, does it still matter? The answer is yes. You know, I filmed myself the other day. I was scared shitless on a mountain over here about 60 feet off the ground. And if I had fallen, I would have been probably severely injured. But instead, I'm here today speaking to you. And the experience was amazing. And then I found that American flag and everything else. And, you know, Mount Charleston has been nothing but a blessing. So... Um, get out, enjoy nature, you know, springtime is not too, you know, we're, we're going to be in summer soon. So get out and enjoy the springtime weather, you know, really get out there and do it and get yourself in shape, get that summer bod ready, get yourself tan and ready to go. And, uh, you know, pool season just opened. So you never know. I might be filming from Dre's. Or something like that sometime. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great evening. Me and Yucca are going to get cooking here pretty soon. 
Yucca's got her springtime bandana. And Rio's out here somewhere. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you soon. There's Rio. Come on, Rio. Yes, Yucca, you're so beautiful. Your tongue matches your bandana. All right, guys. Have a good good evening. And uh, really, really, really excited about what's coming. Thanks.